Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the Mothership. Let's see what our messages are for today. You can see the other channel links in the description box for more DMDF readings as well as other content. There's also a link to a free site that can help you with your inner healing work. The heart of the reading today, you have the Page of Coins and the Temperance card. So you may be receiving some, I want to say news, but I'm getting the sensation that this is something physical like in the mail, or I'm even seeing a key for some of you. So this could be uh, literal or figurative. Uh, this is something that could be very tangible in your world. Like you may actually be getting a new offer coming in a new opportunity, but also this can represent something coming to you that will unlock uh, maybe a greater sense of freedom within you. This is also a time of tempering where you will be connecting more with your internal sense of heaven and earth and beginning to heal yourself. Sometimes whatever it is that you're experiencing resistance to is what you need to just take a look at and go into and uplift those frequencies. Uh, whenever you experience avoidance and resistance, this is exactly the triggering that you need to look at. For the Divine Feminine, you have the Knight of Cups, you have the Four of Wands reverse, you have the Moon card, and the Ace of Coins. So for some of you, you may not know where your Twin Flame connection is heading. And this is a brand new opportunity coming in for you, though. This could be even a new job or a new home or moving to a new location or some combination of both. For some of you, you're also getting... Maybe an emotional offer as well. Uh, this I'm getting the sensation of even maybe having discussions about moving in together or things like that. Wondering about that. If it's a possibility, how it would work out, things like that. Um, but not anything is really known right now. This is a period where you don't have all the facts. And for whatever reason information is just being withheld from you so this could be intentionally not intentionally this could just be because of the circumstances so you do have a brand new opening here and a stable offer coming in um, but it's not really time to make a firm decision rather it's a time to observe intuit and check all of the details because in some time from now when this energy shifts more information may be presented that actually wasn't presented at the time frame now so the things that you're perceiving now might be uh, just a part of the picture so it's important to kind of wait and Instead of passively waiting, this is time to use your intuition and trust your own self and what you're feeling about the situation. And make your moves according to your own life and your own path and your own creativity. This is where you're not only following your intuition, but you're following your creative desires that arise within you. And if there are things that are stirring you up inside, this is that process where you're tapping into that creative outlet as well. So channeling your energy forward in like a very direct and positive way from even anything that feels like turmoil inside of you. So again, this is bringing that healing work to life. So do remember that you're both polarity, both masculine and feminine. So both sides of the reading apply to you. 
Divine Masculine, you have the Eight of Coins reversed. You have the King of Wands, Two of Cups reversed, and the Queen of Cups. So this is where you're really maybe trying to bring yourself into balance. For some of you, you may also um, either have an offer coming in or you may be offering uh, something passionate to another. So this is very loving and caring and warm energy as well as very uh, fiery and passionate energy. So you may be uh, the reciprocator or you may be um, just having those messages coming. It just depends on your situation and how you identify in your polarity. Um, but there is some mirroring going on here in the twin flame dynamic. So also there's a little bit of imbalance and it's important to remember that not everything is like equal in the sense of, you know, this is equal to this. When you broaden your awareness of this concept, you get more into the energy of equanimity. And that is more the energy of, it doesn't even have to be complete opposites attracting, but rather, because that's sometimes based in a lower frequency of what we need to self-heal. Um, it's more based in the understanding that you have certain qualities and I have certain qualities and those qualities are integrated within us and so we are both in a state of harmony and completion. And so when we bring those two halves together, they blend and meld equi with equanimity, complementing one another. So you have strengths and weaknesses and so do I. But in our balanced way of integrating and healing ourselves, we can also come together in like a very balanced way, each sharing our weaknesses and strengths equally. So that could look many different ways on the physical level. Uh, but you have this need right now to focus on your passion, your purpose, and put that as priority. And that will help shift this energy as well. Uh, especially when you understand more about your contract as being a twin flame. And when you do this deep inner healing work, this naturally creates that unification within yourself. It also will put you in touch with what your purpose is. And when you devote yourself to your purpose, that will shift your connection forward. So this is putting in that hard work, working on your self-mastery, learning, studying, growing. Um, I would suggest that you complete lessons one through seven by following the free link in the description box. Uh, that will greatly help you upshift this energy and move things forward. Let's get a few more cards out. If I'm asking, you have the six of pentacles reversed and the six of wands. So this is all about wanting to be victorious and overcome this imbalance and have that nice even flow of reciprocity happening. Um, so on a deeper level, this is working on your own self-worth and being very determined. And also, again, focusing on your path and your purpose. When you focus solely on your purpose and you don't listen to what others around you are saying, you focus on your twin, fl twin flame path and put your energy there, uh, this will lead you to victory. Divine Feminine, you have the Ace of Swords. You also have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, so you have a double card here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Coins. So big, big opportunity, opening doors. This could be also starting a business. Um, you also have the Ace of Swords. So this is a highly creative time for you. And this is the, the universe bringing abundance to you. It's up to you to work out your resistance and figure out how to channel your energy. 
but you also have all the skills necessary to do this work. Um, also, this can be communication coming in. And for some of you, this is also purification and cleaning up your karma so that you can really focus on this brand new start. Let's get a few guidance cards. Divine Masculine, we have the Giraffe. It's funny, this card uh, was on top and I thought I didn't shuffle from the previous reading because it was also in that reading. Uh, but again, it came out on top. So this is just calling you to focus on the greater picture of things. Again, focusing in on what your life purpose is, your soul's passionate purpose. And if you're unclear about this, um, when you begin to do this inner healing work, this will become clear. And also, you can always book me. I can help you to see into those places within your shadow aspect that you need to bring the healing to. Uh, so you can also book me to support you as you're working on your self-mastery. And this is about expanding your awareness and your perception of what you're experiencing as your reality and understanding the microcosm and the macrocosm and your place on the wheel. The heart of the reading, you have the koala. This is all about trusting in your own divine guidance and trusting the greater plan. So knowing that there is a contract, learning about it, and being able to act accordingly. But this is knowing that there's a plan for you and knowing that you also have a soul plan, knowing what that is, engaging in that. Also, this can be clearing out your uh, third eye as well. I would suggest you don't use any fluoride in your toothpaste. Uh, this is, there's a few techniques you can do to also clear out your pineal gland. So I would highly recommend that, learning more about how to do that. You can also contact me for that. Uh, Divine Feminine, you have the Bobcat. This is embracing the mystery of life. Understanding your connection to the great cosmos. And also, some of you are star seeds. This is understanding your gifts, your talents, and why you've come to this life and to these contracts, especially at this particular time. You might also be interested in the empath course I created. It's followed by keys to your energetic integrity. That's in the description box. It will help you learn how to balance your life as an empath and learn to work with your energy body more. But this is also understanding the hidden realms, the secret mysteries, and finding wisdom there that you can apply to your path as well. This is trusting, having trust and taking action on that trust. 